eyeshiners. Happy Thursday. All right, I am just gonna jump right on in here. So most of you will probably be watching the replay because I think it's like five o'clock. But um, I one wanted to talk about um, or show you guys my September happy mail. And if you are doing different happy mail each month or thank you mail or anytime you change it up, like make a post in here, share what you're doing with pictures and everything so we can all get different ideas because I know I'm always looking for different ideas for happy mail and thank you mail to send to my customers because I have a lot of people that buy over and over and over again. I don't want to send them the same thing every single time. So it's really great to share ideas. So share your ideas if you're sending out happy mail or hostess packets or sample bags or anything like that. Make a post, share pictures, um, and let us know what you're doing because I know I would definitely love to see it. So first of all, I'm going to show you what I'm doing for September thank you mail. And then I've been getting a ton of questions um, about shipping, like how much is it to mail this and what can I put in um, a mailer for that and all this kind of stuff. So I'm going to try to give all of my knowledge in this um, video and then if there's any follow-up questions that you have just let me know and I'll answer them obviously. So first, um, September mail, thank you mail. Um, I'm super pumped about these. So freaking cute. And I actually just had to reorder um, some supplies because I need to make more. So I make 50 of these um, at the beginning or at the end of the month for the next month because we get 50 cent of the month flyers, right? And then um, if I have to make more mid-month, I have to make more. So I'm super pumped because it's the 17th of the month. And I've got three of these left and still two weeks of the month left. So I'll probably make up a few more um, to get me through like another week because I have um, I have a party last night that was really good. Um, I'm going to try to get her to join actually. So maybe I don't have to send out happy mail for them. And then I have a party tonight that's going to be really good, I think. So. I'll probably make up enough to get me through another week and then the last week of month of the month, the last week of September, any of those orders, I'll probably give them my October mail, which I haven't really thought of what I'm doing yet. But anyway, you guys didn't really need to know all that, but there you go. So here is um, September's mail. Everyone that places an order online is going to get one of these. It doesn't matter if... Um, if they are from a party or if they are VIP. I did everyone the same. Last month, if you saw my mail for August, I had like VIP mail and then I had like non-VIP mail. So this time it's all the same. And I'll show you what's in here. Um, these are the bags that I always talk about. Uh, these are called Mylar bags, M-Y-L-A-R. These are the holographic ones that are all shiny and you can get them on Amazon in any size you want. I have a little sticker on there that I made on Avery with an um, Avery label it says just for you pumpkin. Thank you for your support and referrals this fall because I want them to refer people to me. So my paper products, I just printed this out, made it on Canva and then um, so Canva is a picture. So then I saved the picture from Canva and put it over to Avery um, in a postcard template and printed that out. So it says, check out some exciting stuff this month. And then it says, hover the camera on your phone over each picture to follow the, and follow the prompts to check out all the fun things. And then I have the Harvest Collection, join Scentsy Club, and then do Scentsy with me. So I just have that in there because I didn't buy the Harvest Collection flyers and I actually am not gonna buy the holiday ones either. Um, I'm just gonna print something out. So that's what I'm doing. Um, then of course I have the, 
the warmer of the month flyer in here and a scent of the month felt sample. Stick that in there. And then I've got a dish soap sample. So these are really cool. I got these um, off of Amazon. These little sponges are actually face sponges, um, but I got them off Amazon and I made a dish soap label really quick off of Avery. These labels are just regular Avery address labels. So I try to print everything on there. Of course, Mylar bag. So this is a aloe water and cucumber um, dish soap sample. And then I have a perfect pumpkin pear wax sample. And then I got these off of Amazon. I got a um, hundred of them for like 12 bucks. And it's um, decaf pumpkin spice tea. I actually haven't tried it. I probably should. I hope it's not gross because I'm sending it to everyone. But it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it looks super cute, right? So I kind of went with like a little pumpkin-y theme. Um, and that's it. So basically they're getting, you know, two samples and a little fun thing like with the tea bag. And that is my thank you mail for September. So let's talk about shipping. And then of course I'm gonna put in, if it's a brand new customer, um, I make these on Canva, welcome friend, has the QR code to my VIP group. And then I will always on every single one do a handwritten card on my thank you cards that I had made off of Vistaprint. Um, I write, I always write, everyone gets a handwritten note, even if it's, I just say like, Sally, heart, thank you so much, enjoy your new smellies, or I appreciate you, or whatever. So I stick that in there too, in the back. So that's my thank you mail. Now let's talk about shipping. Um, how do I want to talk about shipping? So let's talk about letters first. Let's talk about the different packaging. So there's a lot of like stipulations, I guess, and I've been playing around with mail for a while and I think I've gotten it down pat for the most part. Um, I mean, it's possible that some people might not be getting their mail and I just don't know about it because here's what's gonna happen. If you send something to a customer and you don't have enough postage on it, one of two things are going to happen. Either one, they're going to send it back to you and say, hey Sam, you need a lot more postage to mail this, right? Or they're gonna go ahead and ship it to the customer and they're gonna leave a note and, and say, hey, you've got a package, even if it's an envelope, you've got a package from I've had people say that it said from me, Samantha Pruitt, and I've had people say that it said from Scentsy, um, and you owe 80 cents or a dollar 10 to get your package, right? So they'll charge your customer, which is obviously not good. So no one's told me. There's been, I've had a couple of people that have said, hey, they're charging me 35 cents to get my mail from you, so. Hopefully everyone that that's happened to has told me and I've taken care of it, obviously. But that's one of two things that, that are gonna happen. So you've got obviously um, regular envelopes. So I've sent mail in these. These are super cute. I think I'm actually gonna do my October mail is gonna be like super simple for October and I'm gonna do it in these because this just looks really nice and clean, almost kind of like a wedding invitation, right? Um, I've mailed in these, I've mailed in these, um, and then these are clear catalog bags. You can get these in the success store. Um, obviously the Mylar bags. These are padded envelopes. I used to mail tons of stuff in these padded envelopes. Um, this is a six by nine padded envelope, but I found out I could get things cheaper, mailed cheaper. 
Um, the only thing that I haven't mailed it in that is an option is a poly mailer. You might see that word, poly mailer. And it's like this where it's solid, um, but it's not bubbled. It's not padded. So it's, it's kind of like this, but solid. And they have a lot of really cute ones with like cute um, patterns on them, like, you know, flamingos or pineapples or something like that. And they're really cute. Um, but I haven't shipped anything in those. So what's the difference? If you're going to mail in this, maybe I should make some kind of document when I have time. If you're going to mail in a, in a padded bubble mailer, it is automatically a package. So it doesn't matter how thick it is. It doesn't matter how much it weighs. It is automatically considered a package. Okay. Now, when you mail in this or this, this is six by nine, this, this, any regular envelope or the Mylar bags or these clear mailers, you can mail these in large, I forget what it's called, like large letter pricing, okay? This I found out, so this is like a, a legal, I guess it's legal, right? Envelope or whatever. Well, no, that one's a legal one. I, I can't remember what these are called. These are, you can't use regular, you can't just put a couple of stamps on these. This is like considered a package because I decided I was going to mail like a bunch of, um, when I was doing VIP mail to my party guests and I was sending like three per party, I decided to do a whole bunch and I was like, oh cool, it's light, it's thin, it's flexible. I could totally just put like two stamps on it. They were like, nope, it's too big. So I think, I think it's after you get past five by nine, like a five by nine size, that's when it's considered a package. So like I have Mylar bags that are eight by 10, right? I can't, even if it's flat and flexible, I can't send that out with just like a few stamps. It's considered a package. So I think it's anything over a six by nine size is considered a package. So remember, remember that, write that down. Um, so here's my goal for cheap shipping because I've, like I started out shipping all the things and I think Gosh, this summer, I want to say I had spent like six or seven hundred dollars for the month just in shipping charges, just in shipping charges. So obviously my main goal in life is to spoil all of these customers and um, get things to them as cheaply as possible, but still cute and fun, right? So the key is flat and flexible, flat and flexible. So these I can mail for 80 cents. It'd be 85 cents for you, 85 cents, okay? Because it's flexible, I can bend it, right? And it's flat. So anything over a quarter of an inch thick package immediately goes into package mode. Okay, anything over a quarter of an inch thick. So if I'm putting like a little um, spray tester bottle thing, these right here, my little spray sample-y things, this is like borderline making it too thick, but I'm getting them through, okay? I'm getting these through as flexible because most of the package is flexible. Okay, even though like obviously I can't bend this, I'm shipping these out for like a dollar. Okay, it's not going into package price. So that's how it is for me. So flat and flexible, nothing bigger than a quarter of an inch thick. Um, then, then we need to talk about weight. Okay, so a regular letter is 55 cents. Now I'll tell you, I use stamps.com. So you'll, if you're on any other Sensi groups, you'll hear stamps.com and pirateship.com, right? So let me tell you the difference between the two. Pirateship.com is free. 
You don't need to have a subscription. Um, it's completely free to use. You go on there, you put in your dimensions of your package, you pick what it is. Is it a poly mailer or a bubble mailer or a box? You pick what it is, you put in the destination, it kicks you out a quote, which is cheaper than going to the post office. Um, it kicks you out a quote and you can print a shipping label, which let me get that. Hold please. So you print out, so, and you can print out a shipping label, right? Which is this shipping label here, okay? Completely free to use. Definitely the way to go if you're shipping out packages. So your packages though, depending on the weight and the distance, cause that's, that's where your price comes in, the weight and the distance, you're gonna be spending like 280 probably like 280 to four dollars is average 280 to four dollars to send a package that's not too heavy to kind of anywhere okay i ship my farthest is wash no my farthest is alaska because i have someone in alaska um and it's always like 75 cents more to ship the same thing to her. But anyway, that's pirateship.com. Cheaper shipping when you're using a shipping label and you're shipping a package, okay? Stamps.com is the exact same thing, except there is a monthly membership fee. You have to pay for it every month, but you also are able to print stamps, okay? So the monthly fee, I think regular, it's like $15 or $19 a month. I'm only paying like $7 a month because I had it for like six months. And then I was like, hey, I'm just going to cancel this because I wasn't actually shipping out a lot of stuff at that time. And they were like, oh, keep it and we'll make it $7 a month. And I'm like, okay, sweet. So it's cheaper for me, um, but it lets me print stamps. So I bought these labels from stamps.com and it's just little, okay, it's probably better, little square stamps. And with stamps.com, you can customize the price of your stamp, okay? So like with this, when I wanna send this out, I can't put this big ass shipping label on it, right? It's too big. I mean, I could probably wrap it around and make it look ugly, but I don't want to do that, right? Um, so I could either, A, go to the post office and buy stamps. So I need to buy like regular forever stamps. I need to buy non-machinable stamps. I need to buy some postcard stamps, um, some extra 15 cent stamps, maybe some five cent stamps, right? There's a lot of, like, obviously you don't have to print your own stamps because you can do that. I don't want to, right? Like if I, if I can stay home forever and ever and amen, like I'm totally going to do that. So that's why I love stamps.com and I pay the fee every month is because I can print my own stamps and stick them on here. Okay. So let's talk about how much does it cost to send things. Side note, you don't have to have a shipping label. I recently just started getting these peel and stick shipping labels, which is definitely so easy. But I used to just print the shipping label on regular paper and cut it out and like tape it onto my package. So that's just a side note. If you're like, um, I don't want to buy shipping labels, it's totally fine. You don't have to. Um, so how much does, does things cost? How do you figure it out? So like I said, flat and flexible. So if you got it flat and flexible, you're going to start with one stamp, which for you would be 55 cents. This automatically makes it non-machinable or like if I have this, but say I put a little, um, room spray sample in there, right? I'm going to make I'm gonna write non-machinable on this okay I hope you guys are following along with me and I'm I'm making sense same with this if I put this in here and I stuck a, a room spray sample in which I've done before I just mark I write non-machinable up here by the stamp 
okay? So you have a regular stamp, flat and flexible, less than a quarter of an inch, regular stamp. This automatically makes it non-machinable, 15 cents, okay? Then for every ounce over an ounce, it's 15 cents, okay? So regular stamp, 55 cents, non-machinable charge, 15 cents, every ounce over an ounce, 15 cents. So how do you weigh your stuff, Sam? Um, I bought this cheap ass kitchen scale weigher thingy, like, I don't know, probably the Dollar Tree. Maybe it was from Walmart or Target, but it's, I mean, it's real crappy. I probably should get a postage scale considering all of the mail that I send out, but I'm not gonna. So, you know, it's all bouncy. Um, came with a cup that you put, you know, like berries and stuff in. So anyway, this is what I weigh my stuff on. So I just stick it on there and see how much it weighs. So like, for example, this one, it only weighs an ounce, which is, which is good. Um, and usually I kind of bump it up a little bit. I kind of bump it up to two ounces. I round up just cause I don't want my customer to get a letter that says, Hey, you owe us 35 cents to get your letter. So I weigh it and then I figure it out based on what I just said. So let's say it was two ounces, 55 cents plus automatically 15 cents for non-machinable plus an we're going to say it's two ounces, so I'm one extra ounce, so that's another 15 cents, 85 cents. So it's going to cost 85 cents to send this. And because I use stamps.com, it's cheaper for me, and I can mail it. It's five cents cheaper for me, so I can mail this for 80 cents. I have... So like I, because I print my own, I have some that are a dollar, like I put a dollar on there. Um, so like these, for example, I think these might be like, yeah, these are almost three ounces. So flat and flexible, 55 cents, automatically non-machinable, plus two extra ounces over a dollar. Dude, will you cut it out? I'm trying to do something here, please. Did you finish your homework? Yes. Okay. Um. What's up? I just wanted to tell you that I dropped that Leah has. She used it. Eye drops in your eye? Well, not like directly in my eye. Okay. Does your eye feel better? Uh, yeah. Okay, great. Good chat. He got salt in his eye. Somehow. What? Nothing? I to tell my normal story. Ah, bye, bye, Felicia. So, flat and flexible, right? I can bend it around. Um, Non-machinable, two ounces over because it's three ounce package. I'm sending these out for a dollar. Does that make sense? And that's really it. Anything, if I'm sending out a, a package, like let's say I'm sending out, um, for example... I'll use um, Amber won the diffuser for the incentive uh, last month. So when I get that in, which I might be sitting out on my outside my door right now, but when I get that in, I need to weigh that to figure out how much it's going to cost to ship it to her, right? So um, I literally go in my bathroom and I weigh myself and then I pick up the package and weigh myself and subtract, <laughs> subtract and round up. And that's how, that's how I do my shipping. That's how I do my, my weighing. Like I said, I should probably get a postage scale thingy, but really I'm not that worried about it because for the most part it's working out for me. So I feel like I've told you everything that you need to know. We went over all of the different kinds of packaging, what's considered a package, what's not considered a package. Um, another thing I could say is that since this is considered a package and this box is considered a package, like it's going to be the same cost. If they're the same weight, it's going to be, it's going to cost you the same to send a bubble mailer or to send a box. And so I don't know if you guys follow Kimberly Polito on, 
um, Instagram, but like she sends all of her happy mail out to her customers in boxes because she is going over the, you know, the letter phase into package phase. And she's like, why not get a cute box if I'm going to spend the same in, in shipping? So, um, so we went over all of the packaging, the difference between stamps.com and pirateship.com, um, how you can get your mail out the cheapest. Um, and yeah, I feel like that's it. So if you guys, if you guys have any questions, if I missed anything, cause you know, obviously I didn't take notes cause that's totally not my jam. Um, if I missed anything or you have more questions, drop them down below and I'll come back and answer them for you. Other than that, have a great night y'all. Bye.